Okay, we'll call the committees back to order. The next committee is Lake Whatcom Reservoir and Natural Resources, chaired by Dan Hamill. Thank you, Gene. I'm joined today by Council Members Vargas and Jack Weiss. We have one um, item before us today. It's for information only. It is the report from the September 21st Lake Whatcom Policy Group meeting. Um, we essentially had one item that we were um, we were looking at, and that was the graphical display options for Lake Whatcom program performance measures. Um, policymakers asked Lake Whatcom program staff to improve the availability and understandability of data used to measure progress towards achieving our Lake Whatcom goals. Um, four of the or five of the pieces were accessibility of information, ease of updating the data, uh, method of presentation, and measures um, at what level program, organization, or outcome, and finally dashboard approach versus a, a report approach with embedded links. We reviewed examples from other jurisdictions, including Montgomery, Montgomery County, Maryland, uh, Gainesville, Florida, Kansas City, Missouri, uh, Edmonton, Alberta, and Seattle, Washington. Um, basically, what we're trying to do is to update the, um, the user interface for people wanting to access uh, information about Lake Whatcom. Um, and the primary uh, legacy that we're looking at is clean, safe drinking water. So the, um, so the display within each legacy area differentiates uh, between measures under the city's control and those community measures that require the involvement of other organizations or citizens to be achieved. <clears throat> Um, in looking at the program design, uh, policymakers ask some critical questions, um, and basically, who is the audience? Uh, is it the public, or is it city staff, or both? Um, we also discuss the purpose of the uh, display and the indicator. Uh, is, does it have to do more with education or government transparency? So we're working through that. Staff will develop some uh, prototype measure displays to illustrate different ways of uh, presenting the program measures, and we'll make this available to policy group uh, members when it is available. The next policy group meeting uh, will be uh, next Monday on October 5th, uh, 2015 at 2.30 p.m. City of Bellingham Fireplace Room in the Municipal Court Building, 625 Halleck Street. Um, committee members, any comments or thoughts? Jack? What, the primary agenda item for the, for the fifth? Is the discussion, thank you, is the discussion for the uh, greater cost recovery for the AIS program. Okay. Yeah, thank you. All right, Michael. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, it's I just a new one now. I, I wanted to mention one. that uh, Terry and I actually were part of a, a meeting with uh, city staff members for looking at not just the indicators and measures for Lake Whatcom, but looking at our entire indicators and measurement system to find not only measurements that are useful internally and externally, but also better communication. So I think they're leading with Lake Whatcom, but the idea is that, that we could maybe present all, all of our indicators in, in better ways. Yeah, great. Thank you. Any further discussion, questions, comments? Seeing none, uh, end of committee, end of report. Okay. Another